Good morning, everybody. It's Marcia from Oil Me. And today I want to talk to you about a farm from Young Living or a ranch called Sky Rider Wilderness Ranch. It's from, I hope I pronounce this right. If I don't, bear with me. I'll figure it out somehow. Tabiano, Tabiano. Utah. It's T A B I O N A. Ta Biona. Ta Biona, Utah, USA. Okay, the products that come from this ranch is Icorn or Icorn Crunch, and it's I've only had I've only had it once. It's crunchy. It's got got little like the grain itself turned into whatever they make out of it. The crunch. It's uh, I don't know how to describe it. You have to try it. Um, they have a box. I don't know how many's in there. What does it say? Anyway, it's nineteen dollars and seventy five cents, and I think there might be twelve in there. I'm trying to count them. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm guessing twelve in the box. And don't don't quote me if I'm wrong, but anyway, it's 1975. And if you're not a a brand partner, then it's twenty five ninety nine. You don't get it for free when you it, when you're saving your points. So. It's 1975. Okay, and let's see here. The start of Sky Skyrider Wilderness Ranch. The Skywater Wilderness Ranch nestled in the hills of Tabi Tabi Ona, Utah, and home of abundant wildlife and stunning fiestas or vistas. Held a spectacular, a special, I was going to say spectacular, but a special place in, in Young Living founder D. Gary Young's heart. The ranch occupies over 17,000 acres in one of the largest pinyon pine forests in the world. It's also, it's also home to 8 to 12 beehive colonies that pollinate the plants and help maintain a healthy ecosystem. ecosystem. That's a Young Living uh, founder, D. Gary Young, and co-founder, Mary Young, purchased the ranch in 2017. At the time, the property was and still operates as a working livestock ranch. The region has also always had a special place on their hearts and serves as Gary's final resting place. I like to tell people if you d if you didn't get a chance to know Gary in person, come to the Sky Rider Wilderness Ranch. It says Ranch manager Skyler Olson. Everything about this place is Gary. And there's a, a little video. I'm not for sure if I can let you if I can let you watch it um, on this video, but it, I can give you a link where you can come in and click on this farm. And there's a video called "Loyal to the Wild, Loyal to the Wild" that you can watch and. Uh, I don't have to worry about getting copyrights and you can see more about Gary on this property that they purchased in 2017. And that's where he, he, he I guess he was buried there and his ashes were sprinkled there, I'm not sure, because um, he passed in 2018 and that's his final resting area. So maybe he was cremated and his and ashes were sprinkled or maybe they buried him there, I'm not sure. See, the last hunt, as of September two, uh, 2021, 
Skyler Wilderness Ranch has ended its hunting out outfitted operations. Conservation has always been at the core of the Sky Rider uh, Ranch's hunts. And it will now move to ranch a new direction in the first of its kind partnership with the state of Utah. The ranch has ended is hunting in hunting operation and converted to a high fenced elk space in, in to be habitat for the nursery herd of desert bighorn sheep relocated from Nevada. Now the einkorn highlight. At this ranch, Young Living grows einkorn, an ancient grain and one of the first plants cultivated by early farmers. Whole grain einkorn, an ancient grain that even today remains its original unhybridized DNA, offers remarkable nutrition and very little gluten. This precious grain is considered by many of one of the by many yeah by many to one of the of the most nutritious grains ever grown. And the ranch manager from the sky named Skyler Olson quote unquote here's what he said. The Sky Ranch I mean the Sky Rider. Um, Wilderness Ranch in Tabi Tabiona, Utah, in the foothills of the Uinta Mountains, was a special place for Young Living founder D. Gary Young. It became the home of D. Gary Young's wildlife sanctuary with nearly 17,000 acres of forest, stunning peaks, and the Dutch Dushin River. I might have pronounced that wrong. The sanctuary offers protection to all the natural inhabitants, including deer, elk, and bison. And beginning this summer, it will become Utah's first nursery for the magnificent desert bighorn sheep. Have you ever, I mean, have you, here you can see the golden fields and the ink, Ancient unicorn corn uh, grain thriving in the environment for peace and beauty. Did you know the elevation where the main lodge sits is at 6,800 feet or 2,072 meters above sea level? I didn't know that. Did you know it's common? To, for several, it's common for several feet of snow to fall overnight during seasonal storms. I didn't know that either. It says our focus on conservation, Champion, championing nat, natural conservation. I'm sorry, I can't read today. The ranch is also the site of the D. Gary Young Wildlife Sanctuary. A conservation, a conservation uh, easement held by the Nature's Conservation Conservation uh, that spans from 10,880 acres or 17 square miles. The donation of this land was the largest in the Utah chapter's history. Protecting the local wildlife, the sanctuary is part of an area called the Utah Serengeti. Serengeti. Due to the large herds of elk and deer that migrate there through the area, the ranch maintains plots of land specifically. I can't even talk specifically. Sometimes that's my teeth that's keeping me from saying what I want to say properly as well. As soon as I get the money saved, I'll get my teeth fixed and I'll have my smile back. And I also have a, be able to talk and eat better. 
Additionally, it serves as Utah's first nursery for voluntarily desert bighorn sheep through the partnership with the states of Utah and Nevada. And it says learn more. Let's click on that. Get down here. Okay, let's see what it says here. Okay, it says learn more. I clicked on it and it has an error not found. So I won't be able to express that. Maybe it'll pop up sometime when I give you when, when you click on the link and check it out, you might be able to find it and maybe it'll come up later. Right now it won't come up. And I don't have time to sit here and let you wait on me to have it come up. So that's today's video on Skyride Skyrider Wilderness Ranch. Sounds like a beautiful land and a place people just might want to go visit. And you have a chance to do that by making your reservations. It says book your ranch experience and you can go up there and check it out. Anyway, remember God loves you and so do I. And please be kind to everyone you meet because you don't know what they're going through. Have a wonderful day.